Very warm welcome to BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. My name is Mike Embley. Polling is underway in South Korea's parliamentary election. The result is expected to be influenced by the government's handling of the virus crisis. Well, the pandemic is disrupting political calendars around the world, but South Korea is pressing ahead with parliamentary elections, despite the obvious risk of infection. Polling stations opened a few hours ago. Voting is very much underway. It's involved a lot of preparation to get the stations ready, but the government is trying to reassure its 44 million eligible voters it is safe to leave their homes. From Seoul, Laura Becker reports. This is an election like no other. Voters must wear masks, stand at least a metre apart. Their temperature is taken. They disinfect their hands and wear plastic gloves. Well, these two days of early voting have seen a record turnout despite the ongoing pandemic. People are still coming here in their thousands to cast their vote. They're going into these little booths here with their plastic gloves. They mark their ballot and then put it in the box. I thought maybe the election should be postponed because people wouldn't turn up. But now that I'm here and see so many others, I am not worried. I don't think we should be worried. This is about our right to vote. Patients with coronavirus are also able to vote. Special polling booths have been set up outside treatment centres. This woman told us she was thankful for the opportunity. <laughs> Campaigning during a pandemic requires some thought. Gone are the mass rallies, replaced by mostly masked encounters. Candidates whose main concern was once a slowing economy and stalled peace talks with North Korea have now had to show they're doing their bit to fight COVID-19. South Korea controlled the spiralling number of cases quickly and effectively, aggressively tracing and testing infected patients. The widely praised response has given President Moon's once embattled Democratic Party a boost. The opposition, however, credit the thousands of health professionals on the front lines. There are fears that holding an election could trigger a second wave of infections. But for now, South Korea is determined to prove what is possible during this pandemic. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Seoul. And we're just going to keep an eye on the live shot of people very much turning out to vote, but certainly maintaining social distancing. While we talk to Andre Abrahamian from George Mason University, Korea, thank you very much indeed for your time. A lot of countries around the world are going to be looking at this election with perhaps more interest than usual and how it's run in these kind of circumstances. Yeah, as your correspondent explained, a number of measures have been taken to make sure people are safe as they poll. Uh, they also uh, instituted some mail-in voting for people who are infected. That's not usually a, a part of the electoral system here. And then you've seen the electorate respond by turning out very early in, in large numbers over the weekend. And polling data suggests that this could be one of the largest turnouts for a midterm election in Korean history, possibly over 60 percent. And what do you read from that? Well, Korea is a relatively young democracy and the democracy was hard won. I think people still appreciate it here. And so voter turnout is generally quite high, certainly compared with Western democracies. Also, I think there is a chance for North Korea as a brand in terms of nation branding to demonstrate that a democratic system can function during a crisis like this. And that's something that I think the average person will be quite proud to participate in as well. I'm sure you meant South Korea there. Just how important, yeah. though, is this election for the president? It's a kind of a midterm verdict on him, but it's also going to be a verdict on how he's handled the pandemic. 
Yeah, and I think the coronavirus pandemic will have actually been very good for the president here. In the first couple of weeks for, uh, of the pandemic, he came under quite a bit of pressure for not having instituted a travel ban or, or travel restrictions on China. But as Koreans have seen the rest of the world struggle to come to grips with this virus, I think his response and the response of the South Korean government and the bureaucracies in charge of the disease looks really good. Uh, and so it has helped him. His polling numbers have gone up the last several weeks from the low 40s into the mid 50s, which is very good at this stage of a presidency in South Korea. So when would you expect to see reliable results? And of course, the crucial question, what do you think the results are likely to be? The results usually come out same day, so, so late in the day here, so perhaps late afternoon UK time. Um, and polling data suggests that the president's ruling party will probably pick up a few seats. Um, it's, it's difficult to know. There's a new proportional representation system, and uh, so it's hard to know exactly how it'll shake out. But the opposition has basically been in disarray since 2016, and they haven't really consolidated uh, for this election cycle either. Andre, Andre Habian uh, from uh, uh, George Mason University, thank you so much. Thank you.